Nostalgia. <coughs> Fan fiction. Money. And pandering. Long ago, the media consumers lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the TV executives attacked. Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Patrick Vox, and here's a fact of life. In this current climate of pop culture and media, things that print money won't stay dead for long. This includes Avatar The Last Airbender, one of Nickelodeon's most iconic animated series and franchises to this date. Everyone loves Avatar. It's that good sh Nickelodeon has been consistently breathing life into the series, not just with its sequel series Legend of Korra, but with books upon books. The Search, The Promise, The Rift, those upcoming Kyoshi novels, the ride never ends. Never. We will be wrinkled and old. Our youth lost this sands of time. Our grandchildren will greet us on our deathbed, holding our hand one last time, holding back tears and saying, Yo, you read this new Avatar? Did you know Aang did that in his 30s? A whole whale. But not all fans want to settle for just books. There are quite a few who want a third animated series, following a different Avatar, and frankly, I agree. We shouldn't let any possible bad taste core left in mouse dictate the future of the series. And well, it seems as if a series 3 is possible. You may be aware that some of Avatar's crew is working on The Dragon Prince, an upcoming Netflix series. In an interview with said veterans, Inverse inquired about a possible third series to which the following was stated. I'm with the fans. I would be thrilled if there was another series. I know there'd be a lot of people who'd be thrilled. I don't know. If they're bringing back Murphy Brown, why not bring back Avatar? It's obviously not my call, but my opinion is there is room in the world for more Avatar. I'm speculating, but you know, mythology is complicated, and when you have people in a world with stories of where power came from, there are going to be different versions of the story, and they might all be true. One story may just represent one part of the actual history. <clears throat> Let me interject. The original series followed Aang, native from the Air Nation. Korra stemmed from the Water Tribe. Complete the four. Give us two Avatar series following an Earthbender and a Firebender. It doesn't even need to be forward from Korra. It can go back in time before Aang. Although I would love for a futuristic environment for an Avatar series, going back would be a great change of pace from Korra. And it would remove the possibility of any last Airbender or Korra cameos. Something I found rather weak about Korra in hindsight was the implementation of characters from the original series. It made Korra less of an original story, less of a brand new world, when we're constantly reminded of this 78 episode masterpiece ever so often. Even though Korra didn't get the greatest treatment by its network, due to declining ratings and other various factors we'll probably never grasp, don't put it past Nickelodeon to go for something like this. As a full series or just a television special, their game right now is revivals, revivals, revivals. Rock Goes Modern Life's Had a Cling, Hey Arnold Jungle Movie, Invader Zim Enter the Florpus. This is the world we live in now. Rugrats is even coming back for a brand new series. And the creator of Invader Zim revealed at Comic-Con that Nickelodeon wanted a new season of Zim but he just settled on a movie because it's infinitely less stressful. Although the selfish nerd in me wants the movie to be successful and for Jonah to go, fine, let's do a new season. And Nick treated Zim horribly, so yeah, clean slate for their shows all around. It's more likely now than ever before, actually. But would you watch a third Avatar series? Let us know in the comments. Hey, real quick, speaking of Avatar, our friend Skyward Wing is working on a kick-ass animated series, Amoda and Nepsen, and he needs your help getting it funded. The Kickstarter is already at 50%. The series is inspired by things such as Avatar, Steven Universe, Kingdom Hearts, and more. We want to see it happen. Go check the trailer out over at his channel. Let him know Roundtable sent you. Villainous. Cartoon Network has needed a show like this other network for the longest time, but for some reason here in North America, it's gotten the cold shoulder by our network. The the series started as shorts that continue to air in Latin America as a web series. Following the Black Hat organization, ran by the devious Black Hat, Dr. Flug, Dementia, Cambot, and the Bear in the Big Blue House, I mean, uh, the Big Blue Bear Pill Experiment, 505. Voiced by Markiplier. Markiplier! Cartoon Network, why aren't you showing this in the States again? Teen Titans Go hasn't had a new episode in a grip, and you've massively toned down with the saturating the schedule with it. People can't use that as an excuse anymore. Now, the shorts actually do have an English dub that serviced online, which is how fans discover Markiplier Voices 505. <laughs> Seriously wasting a paycheck there, CN. But for the longest time, fans were wondering if this would become a full series. And if you're one of those fans, 
Well, dear viewer, you got what you wanted. Over the weekend, Cartoon Network Latin America posted a video titled Villainous Teaser Trailer that featured an original bop, tons of Easter eggs to other Cartoon Network properties, maybe we'll do a breakdown of it, and concluded with Something Villainous Comes This Way. Oh my god, I want it, I want it! A full series is nothing to be surprised over. This was stated in interviews dating back to months, if not a year, but seeing it come to fruition is something unprecedented. I can't describe the feeling. This show gives me serious Billy and Mandy vibes. We need a spiritual successor to Billy and Mandy in this day and age. Cartoon Network has been lacking a dark, surreal comedy for quite some time. A lot of shows since Billy and Mandy's conclusion has had dark comedic moments sprinkled in, but was never the overall tone. I really hope that at the very least, the full series gets broadcast over here in 2019. Please, please, it's so good, it's so funny. Go watch the shorts, they're subtitled somewhere on the internet. And finally, to wrap up, we just got the first teaser for Netflix's She-Ra. You know, that DreamWorks series grown men on the internet threw a tantrum over because she didn't have huge tits like the characters they grew up with, because designs can evolve over time. And this She-Ra is like 14 and has a body that reflects as such. Yeah, that She-Ra. And just as expected, it looks pretty good. Like, literally, it looks good in terms of visuals. The art and animation is super slick, it looks as if it pulled footage from the show proper, and I'm impressed. It gives us a glimpse of the first episode, the overarching story, and her transformation sequence. Now, I'm not super familiar with She-Ra, so I'm not going to act like this is a holy grail godsend. The reboot we all deserve, but yeah, looks fun. And <gasps> She-Ra looks like a girl? Sounds like one too. For the but the internet told me she looks like a boy. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Sorry, she actually looks very pretty. Eyebrows on fleek, voice acting is top notch. I think we're in for a good time. And seriously, if you have a problem with the way she looks for being masculine, let it go. Life will go on, the earth will keep spinning. Cut to a clip. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. But as always, what do you guys think? Should villains come to the States? What do you think of the She-Ra teaser? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts related to me at Austin Vox or at Roundtable Vids. We're also on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by supporting us on Patreon. Get perks. Have your name at the end of the video. We actually need your help over at Patreon for a new show we're working on that uses your questions. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, stay in the loop of all things animation. I'm Austin Vox. This has been your Daily Dose of Cartoon News. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.